Hello everyone and welcome to Anna Subtip Webcast. In this video tutorial series, we are going to see all the steps which are required to migrate Windows Server 2003 Active Directory to Windows Server 2019. I'm creating this video into total seven parts as it is not possible to cover everything into one single large video. So please watch all the parts of this video series in a sequence. Remember, this will be a two-step process since you are not able to add Windows Server 2019 domain controller to an existing Windows Server 2003 Active Directory domain. So first, we have to migrate Active Directory from Windows Server 2003 to Windows Server 2016. After that migration completes successfully, we will migrate Active Directory from Windows Server 2016 to Windows Server 2019. If you don't want to use this route, then you have one more option. In the second option, you can first migrate your Windows Server 2003 Active Directory to Windows Server 2012 R2 and then after you can jump to Windows Server 2012 R2 to Windows Server 2019. According to TechNet articles, both options are official supported, but the final choice is yours. For this video tutorial series, I'll go with the first one in which we will migrate our Windows Server 2003 Active Directory to Windows Server 2016 first and then we will migrate 2016 to 2019. Remember, this is a test environment created in VirtualBox so you can have an idea about the migration steps. I have tried my best to create test lab just like the production one but if I miss something then please let me know in the comment section. Let's take a look at the slide. Uh, this is about the video series introduction. Uh, already I mentioned that we will have a total seven videos in this video series. So in the first video of this video series means in this video, we'll take an overview of our test lab, which I have created in VirtualBox and we will see what configuration we have in our existing Windows Server 2003 Active Directory Forest. In the second part of this video series, we will add Windows Server 2016 as an additional domain controller to our existing Active Directory Forest. In the third part of this video series, we will check replication between Windows Server 2003 domain controller and Windows Server 2016 domain controller. So, and once replication completes successfully, we will transfer FSMO rules from Windows Server 2003 to Windows Server 2016. In the fourth step, we will migrate share folders from Windows Server 2003 file server to Windows Server 2019 file server. In the fifth step, we will migrate DSCP server from Windows Server 2003 to Windows Server 2019. In the sixth step, we will demote Windows Server 2003 domain controller and we will upgrade domain functional level and forest functional level so we can add Windows Server 2019 as a domain controller into our Windows Server 2016 Active Directory. In the last video, we will add Windows Server 2019 as an additional domain controller to our Windows Server 2016 forest and after that, we will check replication between 2016 and 2019 domain controller and then we will transfer FSMO rules from Windows Server 2016 to Windows Server 2019. After successfully completing this all seven steps, we can migrate our Windows Server 2003 Active Directory Forest to Windows Server 2019. So let's see what we have in our test lab. This is Windows Server 2003 R2 Domain Controller. Let's open Active Directory Users and Computer Snap Pin. Here you can see malware.local. First thing which we are going to see is the domain controllers. Here you can see we have one domain controller for malware.local domain. Remember, this is a single domain Active Directory Forest. Domain controller name is ws2k3r2-dc01. Let's click on malware.local. Let's right click there, select properties. And here you can see domain functional level is set to Windows Server 2003 and forest functional level is also set to Windows Server 2003 which is highest available domain and forest functional level in Windows Server 2003 Active Directory. Let's click on OK. Again, I'm going to click on Domain Controllers Container. This is the domain controller which we have WS2K3R2-DC01. 
See, we have only one domain controller in our Active Directory. That means all five FSMO rules are currently assigned to this domain controller. One more thing which we want to check is about the global catalog server. Let's double click on Active Directory Sites and Services shortcut. Let's expand our site, which is headquarter, expand service, expand server name and click on NTDS settings. Let's right click here and go for the properties. You can see global catalog checkbox is selected. That means this server is also configured as a global catalog server. Fine. Let's again go back to Active Directory Uses and Computer Snapping. I have created one OU named Delhi and under Delhi OU, I have one more OU with the name HR. Under HR OU, I have two users, HR user 1 and HR user 2. Both users are member of HR users. Fine. Now on this OU, I have configured one group policy. Let's check it. GPO name is folder redirection GPO. Let's click on edit. Under user configuration, if I expand Windows settings and if I expand folder redirection, let's click on my documents, right click on it and go for the properties. As you can see, the policy is in place for my documents. That means folder redirection is in place for my documents and the root path, as you can see, UNC path WS2K3R2-FS01. That is the our file server. Uh, we'll take a look at the topology as well. But here I want to tell you that here we have a folder redirection in place for our HR uses OU. Fine. We have one more OU and that is tag OU. In tag OU, I haven't configured any group policy, but if we take a property of uh, any users from tag OU, and if you click on profile tab, you can see home directory is configured for our users, which are stored under tag OU. And right now we have total two users. Fine. So we have certain settings in place. For HROU, we have folder redirection policy in place. And for tech OU, we have home directory in place. Now, where the shared folders are, that is the main thing. This is our another Windows Server 2003 server. As you can see, the name is WS2K3R2-FS01. This server is also part of our Active Directory domain. Let's hit the property. And uh, if you click on computer name, here you can see ws2k3r2fnfs01.mylab.local and it is part of our mylab.local domain. Now this server is working as a file server for us. If I double click on e here you can see we have a shared folder named folder redirect and home direct. Let's double click on it. So here certain folders are there. And similarly, under folder redirect, we have one folder for HR user one. And here we have a my document. Definitely, it will be not accessible by domain admin due to NTFS permission. Fine. We have one more client computer. It is Windows 7 client. And this client computer is also part of our Active Directory domain. First, we are going to log in as a tech user one. Let's open my computer and here you can see we have a home directory with the drive letter H. Let's double click on it. And here, as you can see, users folders are there. The same folder which we are able to see on our file server. Fine. I'm going to log off from this computer. Now we will log in as a HR user one. Let's click on switch user. Okay, now let's double click on users profile folder. And here you can see my document is a sync. You can see the offline symbol is there. The reason is pretty simple one because we have configured folder redirection for my documents folder. If I double click on it, here you can see I have created one folder and one text file for the testing purpose. Let's double click on reports folder. And if I click here under address bar, you can see the path is ws2k3r2-fs01. And this is the folder where we have stored our users my document. Let's check that. Fine. Now, I'm going to open command prompt. And I'm going to run command set. Let me change the font size. Let's 
Okay, as you can see, this computer name is there, computer name WS7-CLI01. And on this computer, we have login as a HI user one. Now, the most important thing that we want to see is here. You can see log on server is WS2K3R2-DC01. Fine. One more thing which you want to see is the DHCP. We have also configured DHCP server on our domain controller. You can see uh, one scope is there with the scope range 50.30 to 50.230. Under address list, you can see two computers are there. Windows 7 computer and we have one more server which is running on Windows Server 2019. I have created two reservations. So when we migrate DHCP server, that time you can see these reservations are there or not. Fine, so this is the scenario which we have. We want to migrate this Windows Server 2003 Active Directory environment to Windows Server 2019 environment with the same settings. Fine. Now this will be the scenario. Right now, we have a Windows Server 2003 domain controller with the Active Directory, DNS and Global Catalog with five FSMO roles. We have one more Windows Server 2003 server, which is a part of our Active Directory. On that, we have configured a file server. See, actually I have installed DSCP server role on our domain controller. It is not available on our member server. Now, what we want to do? First, we want to migrate Active Directory, DNS, Global Catalog and FSMO rules to Windows Server 2016. Now, this is our Windows Server 2016. As you can see, currently it is a part of workgroup and the IP address which we have assigned to this server is 192.168.50.8. So first, we will add this Windows Server 2016 domain controller to our existing environment. Second, we have Windows Server 2019 server, which is we are going to use as a file server. Once we migrate Active Directory from server 2003 to 2016, we will migrate file server means we will migrate our share folders from 2003 server to 2019 server. And we also want to migrate DHCP server from 2003 to 2019. So in the next six videos, we will see how we can migrate our this existing Windows Server 2003 environment to Windows Server 2019 environment. That's it for this video demonstration. In the next part of this video series, we will add Windows Server 2016 as an additional domain controller into our existing Windows Server 2003 Active Directory domain. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video. If you have any suggestion and query related to this video, feel free to post in comment section. Thank you all.